looked back at the time of Joshua and of Saul, and, and, and God ordered you to kill women and children, would you do that? Um, that's a hypothetical question that I would handle if I was back at that time. If I heard voices now telling me to kill someone, I'd see a psychiatrist. You wouldn't believe that it was God? Oh, absolutely not. You but agree he... that back then he did give those orders? Oh, yes, the scriptures make it very clear. And Remember, those people did the right thing in doing it? Well, according to God, yeah. All of God's judgments are righteous and true altogether. I would never doubt God's character or judge's character. Who am I to, to, to question the judgments of God? Right. Now, those things are difficult. Um, but how to... would you know then? I mean, if you say now you would doubt that it was God, you'd see a psychiatrist. How did those people know that it was God and not doubt it then? That's a good question. We don't know. We don't know if it was an audible voice. We don't know if it was the prophet uh, that was saying, Thus saith the Lord. But um, we're told that it was God that ordered that, and we accept it by trust. Hey, you ready? Okay, we're good. Do he not understand the dual psychosis that he's going through? I mean, let's think about this for a second. That gentleman just said that if he heard an audible voice or a voice in his head that was telling him to go and murder people like with, with Saul back in the Old Testament or Paul in the New Testament, and I'm talking about both of them, and I'm assuming he's talking about the Saul person as well, um, Paul being converted to Saul. I don't know which one he's talking about, but we're going to go with just Saul from the Old Testament and um, Paul. That if he heard audible voices telling him to genocide the people like Saul did in the Old Testament, that he would go and see a psychiatrist because he would think he's crazy. But because of somebody wrote down in a book that God spoke audibly to Saul and told Saul to go and kill all these people and genocide them, that no psychologist is needed, that he wholeheartedly believe it in. Who is he to question God? You're not questioning. You're questioning the writers who said that this is what God said, who wrote these things thousands of years after they supposedly had been said. I mean, think about that. Let that sink in for just a second. Imagine, if you will, um, in order for you to kind of get it in your mind, that there's, there's no televisions, there's no video recording devices there's no audio recording devices none of those things are in existence today like they say none of those things exist today right and I write a story right about a man who marched for the rights of people of, of a particular group of people black people and, and uh, many people from different ethnicities and races joined in with him. He, he gave this great monumental speech, right? And then while he was giving this speech, another man heard from God and God saw him as an opposition to his will, his way. And he showed up at this Washington monument and genocided the thousands, the hundreds of thousands, hundred thousand people that had showed up that day. But God told him to do so. Would y'all believe that? Would you? You're saying that thousand years from now, you will believe that God told somebody to show up at this peaceful protest for being oppressed and mass murdering all these people. But you would believe that, accept that. But if that happened today in your time frame, you're not going to accept it. You think that the person is psychotic. If that happened today, if uh, uh, somebody came in uh, to a church or somebody went to the abortion clinic, if somebody went to the, 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 the weed dispensary and just started shooting people and saying that they heard God and God told them that these people need to be eradicated you would you would send them to prison for their crimes. You if a government did it, you would send you would have war, you would cry out for war crimes. A thousand years from now somebody write that what BB was told by God to do what he's doing in Palestine. And although you right now may be against that, a 
thousand years ago, people are going to say that what God told them. And I believe that because it's written in the in the, the second Torah. And if God said it, then it's okay. That's literally what that man said. That's a very demented mindset. And it's sad that people don't walk around that way. Because something is written and something is old and you're detached from it, then you can justify and say what well, God has said is okay because those civilizations don't exist anymore. Those people have been gone for so many generations that it doesn't even matter. It has no emotional consequence for you because it's not real time. But if that happened real time, like what's happening in Palestine, then you would say that God could not have told BB to do what he's doing in Palestine. If you're Muslim, you could not you could not say that Allah told whatever the guy's name is to do what he did to the Israelis. You would not blame that on Allah. You would say that they were men who made their own decisions to do whatever, or they were psychotic. Just as that man would go see a psychiatrist if he heard God tell him that. But this is why belief is useless and so easy to control people. But y'all have a great day. And remember always, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey.